Hey there guys, it is Jeff Robinson here from the application team here at Scarlet and today we wanted to talk about this uh, surfacing project that we did here in the shop. Uh, this project was unique in the fact that this piece of oak was super uh, warped, had a big crown in it and we were trying to get one surface flat. So um, we had to approach this a little differently than you might normally because we had a bark on the edges and we needed to address that to make sure that we did not blow the bark off this part. Uh, this is an um, heirloom type product um, that has some sentimental value so we wanted to make sure that we did not damage it. So um, how we did that we used fusion here to first mock up the size of the blank uh, allowed us to get our origin the way we needed it uh, and then we created a a setup here that had the material uh, approximately the same thickness as the crown which was almost three quarters of an inch in this part uh, so the part itself was kind of arching up here as you see in the video so we created it this way the big thing here is we needed to make sure that the bark didn't blow off so instead of using a traditional face command we use the pocketing command instead and here's the reason why so we use the bit here to come around the exterior of the part and make sure that the first pass here is climb cutting against it against the bark so if you see here the bit is turning in a clockwise fashion so the the cutter is coming into the edge of the bark and pushing it inwards. The last thing you'd want to do is to have this run the opposite way where the cutter was going this way, pushing the bark away. Uh, there's a great, good chance in that scenario where we could uh, blow the bark off if it, it becomes loose. So uh, this way we can control the first pass that's all i really care about every pass after that didn't matter but we just used the pocketing command uh, because it was the easiest tool we had uh, secondly here we used uh, this new sanding head um, from technique uh, we do have these here in stock so always reach out to scarlet and we'd be love to talk to you about it uh, it's a pretty neat tool it's pretty new uh, been practicing with it for a while uh, in the video, it's running pretty slow. Uh, it was one of my first real times running a big plate like this. So I definitely think we could speed it up. I ran it at about 100 inches a minute, and it could certainly come towards upwards to two to 300 inches a minute. Um, but there's one key factor here that I want to make sure everyone is aware of. If you're not using Fusion and you're using another software, I really need you to pay attention here is that the end of the cut has to come up and away from the surface. It cannot uh, traverse out like a typical facing command and come back. The reason is, is this head uh, is spring driven. There's a spring in here that uh, puts or controls the amount of tension that is applied to the surface. So if that head was to be stay in the same Z plane, fall off the part, the head will drop and then when you come back against it you will blow it up uh, that would be a bad day and we don't want to do that so um, how i did it here is i used a just a typical parallel command um, the cool part about parallel with infusion is that uh, toward the end here in our passes tab i was able to add a perpendicular pass this allowed me to do a cross grain uh, sand first and then come back and do a finish pass as well uh, or with a grain I'm sorry so I really think this is a, a cool way of doing it uh, typically you want to do this all the time it's not uh, the fastest process if you got a wide belt I'd certainly do it but as you can tell later on in the video the the part itself is crowned really bad so you'd have a hard time getting that back flat onto a surface that you could use so this way it works really well so uh and as we got in into this further there's other possibilities where we're to maybe do some beveled edges we could also use the sanding head for that if you're using it on a five axis like we are here in the video 
So, uh, guys, take a look. Let me know your thoughts on it. I'd love to show you more about Fusion and how uh, we're utilizing it in the woodworking industry uh, to run our CNCs. You guys take care and uh, feel free to like, subscribe, reach out, DM us. I'd love to learn more about what you all want to learn and uh, what your troubles are. And uh, let's figure it out together. Thank you all and have a great day.